Hey esteem, welcome to Ace Academy. I'm Harini and today we'll be looking at the most important current affairs of April 21, 2021. So without much delay, let's get into the first question. So the first question is, Eat Smart Cities Challenge and Transport for All Challenge was launched by whom? So the answer is option C, Hardeep Singh Puri. He is the Minister of State for Housing and Urban Affairs and about Eat Smart Cities Challenge, it is an initiative under the Eat Right India movement of FSSAI which stands for Food Safety and Standards Authority of India. So then moving on to the next question. So the second question is, Common Services Centre has tied up with whom to set up solar powered microgrids and water pumps in rural areas across the country so the answer is option c tata powers and the objective of this partnership is to provide clean and sustainable energy to households and businesses in rural areas so then moving on to the next question so the third question is India has extended NPR 42.95 million grant assistance to Nepal for construction of a new building for a school in which district of Nepal? So the answer is option C, Udayapur. Already Nepal inaugurated 10 roads length of 300 kilometers which were built with the Indian grant assistance of NPR 800 crores. So then moving on to the next question. So the fourth question is, INS Surbeshak conducts hydrographic survey in which country? So the answer is option C, Mauritius. The ship carried out deep sea survey in the coast of Port Louis. So then moving on to the next question. So the fifth question is, Reserve Bank of India has formed Another regulation review authority to streamline its regulations and reduce compliance. It has been named as Sudanshir's option A, RRA 2.0. RBI has set up the first RRA for one year, that is from April 1999 to 1st of April 2000. In order to review the regulation circulars reporting system of RBI based on the feedbacks from the public banks and other financial institutions so then moving on to the next question so the sixth question is which bank decided to withdraw consumer banking business in india so the answer is option c city bank the multinational investment bank city bank headquartered in new york has announced to exit its customers' banking operation in India as a part of its global restructuring process. So then moving on to the next question. So the seventh question is, RBL Bank announced its partnership with whom to provide first of its kind payment solution in India through we pay by bank app so the answer is option b mastercard it is a mobile based consumer friendly payment solution through this payment solution the pay by bank app customers of rbl bank will be able to do contactless transaction both in store and online across the world and the full form of rbl bank is ratnakar bank limited so then moving on to the next question And the eighth question is, ET Money launched India's first Dash-based SPI payment features. So the answer is option A, Aadhaar. And the objective of this is to make investments more seamless and accessible to widest section of Indian society. And the CEO of ET Money is Mukesh Kalra and the head office is located in Gurugram, Haryana and it was established in 2015. So then moving on to the next question.
So the ninth question is SBI General Insurance signed corporate agency agreement with so the answer is option A UBKGB Bank which stands for Uttarabang Kesharthiya Gramin Bank. The purpose of this agreement is through this agreement SBI General Insurance product will be distributed in West Bengal through UBKGB Bank and UBKGB has 142 branches in West Bengal. So then moving on to the next question. So the tenth question is Facebook initiates renewable energy purchase agreement in which countries the answer is option A India. Facebook made an agreement to buy renewable energy in India the company's first deal in South Asian nations and it will purchase from a 32 megawatt wind power project located in Karnataka. So then moving on to the next question. So the 11th question is which of the following Indian cricketer featured in Wisden Almanac ODI cricket of decade list? So the answer is option D all of the above Kapil Dev, Sachin Tendulkar and Virat Kohli. Wisden Cricketers Almanac is also known as the Bible of Cricket. So then moving on to the next question. So the twelfth question is, who has won the UN's National Innovation and Sustainable Supply Chain Awards? The answer is option A, Brilla Cellulus Limited. Brilla Cellulus Limited, the largest global man-made cellulose fiber producer, a part of Aditya Brilla Group, won the first edition of National Innovative and Sustainable supply chain award presented by the global pact network india the indian local network of the united nations global pact so then moving on to the next question so the 13th question is who has got the gd brilla award for scientific innovation awards so the answer is option a suman chakravarti iit karakpur's Professor Suman Chakravarti has been uh, has been selected for the 30th GD Brilla Award for Scientific Research for his outstanding contribution to engineering science and its application in developing technologies for affordable healthcare. So then moving on to the next question. So the 14th question is Indian origin businessman. Yusuf Ali, MA, honored with UA's top civilian award. What is the name of the award? So, the answer is option A Abu Dhabi Award. Yusuf Ali, MA, is the chairman and the managing director of Abu Dhabi based Lulu Groups that operates a chain of hypermarkets and retail companies. So, then moving on to the next question. So the 15th question is, Aishman Kurana has been appointed as Indian ambassador of which brand? So the answer is option C, Techno. Aishman Kurana has been appointed as the Indian brand ambassador of Techno. So then moving on to the next question. So the 16th question is, Bharati Atal Nettal Infrastructure Investment occurs 100% stake in the answer is option A One Web India. Nettal Infrastructure Investments, a wholly owned subsidiary of Bharati Atal, has acquired 100% stake, which is uh, 10,000 shares in One Web Indian Communication Private Limited. So, then moving on to the next question. So the 17th question is, ICC bans former Zimbabwe captain Heath Steak for how many years for, from all forms of cricket? So the answer is option C, 8 years. Heath Steak has been banned from, for 8 years from all forms of cricket for breaching the ICC anti-corruption code. So then moving on to the next question.
So the 18th question is GVG Krishnamurti ex election commissioner passed away recently he is from which state So the answer is option C Andhra Pradesh So GVG Krishnamurti is from Andhra Pradesh So then moving on to the next question So the 19th question is when is world voice day celebrated so the answer is option a on 16th of april and the theme of the world voice day is one world many voices so then moving on to the next question so the 20th question is which indian state has got first of its kind advanced antiquities management system in india so the answer is option a goa the directorate of archives and archaeology government of goa inaugurated the advanced antiquities management system in india the first of its kind facility in india for the storage of antiquities so that's it we are done for the day and thank you for watching our video and if you think that we are doing good please let us know in the comment section below because it means a lot to us and if you have any doubts please feel free to ask us either in the comment section below or you could also contact us in facebook and instagram so i'll meet you in my next video till then bye it's me hayani signing off